So. Well, fans across the tri-state, as you know, are getting ready for some cheering in tonight's uh, games. But drag boat racing fans in McLean County are also preparing for this weekend's Thunder on the Green. I would do is Mike Pickett as your preview for the Owensboro Newsroom. The sounds of these engines about to fill the skies above this mostly quiet river once again. 100 on water is like 200 on land. It's just, it's just it comes at you real quick. It's, yeah, it's, it's fun. You, you just kind of hang on, and when you hit it, I mean, it sets you back in the seat, you know, the, the there you go. <laughs> and uh, with a hydro like this there, it, it barely touching the water. More than 50 drag boats from as far as Ohio, Tennessee, and Missouri expected to race at the annual two-day event with several thousand race fans watching. <laughs> Tim Townsend's raced here since 2003. He says the lack of wind along the river helps racing conditions. It's protected, you know, from the wind. The wind is a big problem, you know, if you get too much wind in the water, waves and chopping, these boats don't like that. One major change for this year's edition is that they've shortened the course on the Green River from a quarter mile to about a thousand feet. And the reason? Safety. At one time they were running a quarter mile, running 270 mile an hour. This cutting down the lengths of the track is, you know, is an effort for people's safety. You know, it's try to get things slowed down. Barry Salzman of the Kentucky Drag Boat Association says it also lets people see the whole sprint compared to the longer format where the finish line was out of most people's sights. It's just a, a nice atmosphere here. I mean, the town really gets into this race, and we, we like coming here. In Livermore, my picket, Eyewitness News. Thunder on the Green, not the only boat race happening in the Tri-State. This year's Evansville Hydrofest and Roar on the River kicks off next Friday at Dress Plaza.